ladybugs, beetles, and hornets, it's not a bug's life. It's Bullet Train. Brad Pitt is teaming up with the director of Deadpool 2 for a crazy crime caper based on a Japanese book. Here's everything you need to know about the action-packed flick. Bullet Train began production in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic in November 2020. The action film's release date would also be heavily affected by the pandemic, being shifted several times. Sony's original date for the Brad Pitt flick was April 8th, and its first pushback landed it on July 15th. When Black Adam vacated its July 29th spot, Sony moved Bullet Train to take over the date. This was so the film would have a more significant gap between itself and Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder, which lands in theaters on July 8th. However, it was revealed in May that Bullet Train was moving to August 5th, as Sony hopes to make their film the summer's final blockbuster. This movie pits Bullet Train against Universal's Easter Sunday and A24's Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. So if you could just like, not escalate this situation that I'm not escalating. You're holding the knife and you're moving your hands while you talk. Bullet Train is based on the novel Maria Beetle by Japanese writer Kotaro Isaka. Depending on how accurately the movie adaptation follows the book's plot, you can expect multiple strange assassins with radically different methods in the same bullet train, all tasked with different jobs and largely unaware of each other. However, as the story progresses, it turns out that their missions might just be interconnected after all, and a deadly game begins. The novel is an exciting combination of high-octane action and a complex, twisting plot that's somewhat reminiscent of Guy Ritchie's early films. And according to Bullet Train producer Kelly McCormick, the movie version has all intentions to deliver. McCormick said, I think the combo in what this movie is, which is kind of a crazy crime caper, is a really exciting combo for fans as well as actors. I can't speak more highly of the picture and the experience. Every day is an absolute riot. In July 2020, Brad Pitt hopped aboard Bullet Train, taking the lead as Ladybug, known in the novel as one of the world's unluckiest assassins. Ladybug is called in for one last mission, which calls for him to steal a briefcase aboard a high-speed train. We won't go into the details of Ladybug's character from the book to avoid spoilers, but you can expect Ladybug's past to come back to haunt him. Bullet Train is Pitt's second film of 2022, following up the comedic hit The Lost City. Prior to 2022, Pitt hadn't been in a major motion picture since 2019's Ad Astra and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Joining Brad Pitt in Bullet Train is Sandra Bullock. Bullock replaced Lady Gaga, who had a scheduling conflict with House of Gucci. This marks the second time Pitt and Bullock have shared the screen, with The Lost City from earlier this year making their first. Bullock plays Maria Beetle, the handler of Pitt's Ladybug and titular character for Kotaro Isaka's novel. Maria appears quite often in the second trailer, confirming she and Ladybug will get some face-to-face -face time, but she will never step foot on the actual train. That second trailer also reveals we'll see a lot of action happening off the locomotive, meaning we might get more Bullock in this film than initially believed. When Aaron Taylor Johnson joined Bullet Train, it was revealed he would be playing one of the assassins on board. Johnson's character, the mustache-clad Tangerine, works side by side with another contract killer who is also named after a citrus fruit. Based on the trailer, Tangerine seems like a no-nonsense assassin, playing the opposite of Brad Pitt's easier-going ladybug. Those looking forward to seeing Bullet Train should be especially excited for Taylor Johnson's performance. Sony bigwigs were so happy with the actor's performance that they offered him the role of Kraven in their upcoming Kraven the Hunter comic book flick. Taylor Johnson reportedly signed a multi-picture deal with the studio to boot. Taylor Johnson seems to be equally ecstatic about Bullet Train, promising it's an epic action flick that's equally funny and thrilling. He told the audience in Sin Europe, I watched the movie last week and I was literally howling with laughter to the point that I almost peed on my seat a little. But honestly, this is the summer movie you do not want to miss. I am not kidding. Making up the other half of the Bullet Train Citrus duo is Brian Tyree Henry, who plays Lemon. Lemon will work side by side with Tangerine, both of whom square off against Ladybug separately in the trailer. Tyree Henry has a hilarious one-on-one -on -one with Pitt in the first trailer for the film, as the two fight one another in the quiet car of the train. It also looks like they've met before, but we're not quite sure how they're connected just yet. Remember those two wackos from the Bolivia job? The twins? Yeah, not so sure they're twins. When chatting with Kelly Clarkson on her daytime talk show, Tyree Henry revealed he had a great time filming Bullet Train and mentioned how much fun he had with Brad Pitt. The actor said when the director would call cut during their fight scene, Pitt would lay in his arms and he'd get to hold him. One of the later additions to Bullet Train was Zazie Beetz, whose casting was announced in November 2020. The Atlanta star plays Hornet, another assassin who appears to be impersonating an employee of the train. 
Hornet hails from the United States, but her true mission on the high-speed train remains to be seen. Based on the trailer, Hornet seems to favor a knife as her weapon of choice and doesn't seem too fond of Ladybug. This marks the second time Beats has worked with director David Leitch, the first of which came in 2018's Deadpool 2, where she played Domino. When chatting with Collider back in March 2021, Beats gushed over Pitt, saying he was a delight to work with on Bullet Train and hoped she can work with him again in the future. Joey King plays Prince, a British assassin. At the time of the casting announcement, it was revealed that King was going to be one of the film's main assassins, possibly the only female. We know that ended up not being true with the addition of Zazie Beats to the cast, so just how major King's role will actually be remains to be seen. The actress was nervous to start filming for the new movie, however, and admitted to Collider that her first day on set was like the first day of school. Despite being in the industry since 2006, the Bullet Train set made her feel like it was her first time filming. King admitted Brad Pitt and David Leitch were super warm and welcoming and helped her to shake her nerves. She admitted, I cannot wait to see this movie because from the stuff we filmed and from the stuff I saw, it is just so cool. It is so ridiculously cool. Puerto Rican music superstar Bad Bunny was announced as a part of the Bullet Train cast in December 2020. The release of the film marks the rapper's first ever major movie role. He appeared in 2019's F9 in a blink and you'll miss it cameo, but his role in Bullet Train looks to give him a substantial amount of screen time. Bad Bunny is playing Wolf, another assassin aboard the train who appears to have a not-so-fun history with Ladybug. I mean, we ruin your life the way you ruin mine! Dude, I don't even know you! In an interview with Apple Music, Bad Bunny noted that he messed up Brad Pitt's face a little during their fight scene, but said his co-star was super friendly and respectful. We have to assume the musician nailed the role as he was announced to take the lead in Sony's El Muerto film at CinemaCon this April. You probably know Hiroyuki Sonata from, well, pretty much everything, and now he's adding Bullet Train to his resume. The Avengers Endgame and Mortal Kombat star is playing a mystery character, but based on the trailer, it looks like he could be another assassin on board. Logan Lerman is also joining the Bullet Train cast, reuniting him with his Fury co-star Brad Pitt. Lerman plays an assistant to Tangerine and Lemon, and spoiler alert, it looks like he won't make it out of the train alive. The first trailer reveals Lerman's character's death after Tangerine and Lemon find him dead in a seat. Knives Out and Man of Steel star Michael Shannon was also added to the cast in 2020 and will be playing Jay Wayne, who looks almost unrecognizable in the trailers. With his hands covered in tattoos and sporting long stringy hair, Jay is a rather mysterious man who looks like someone not to be messed with. Filling out the Bullet Train cast are Andrew Koji, Masi Oka, Emelina Adams, Pasha D. Lynchnikoff, Andrea Munoz, and Karen Fukuhara in smaller roles. Calling the shots on the Bullet Train set was David Leach, the stuntman turned director who once performed stunts for Brad Pitt. Leach was Pitt's stunt double on Fight Club, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Troy, Spy Game, and Ocean's Eleven. Bullet Train marks the fourth major motion picture for Leach. At this point, he has Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2, and Hobbs and Shaw under his belt, all of which can be considered successes. Any movie fan who has seen more than one of those films should know what to expect from Bullet Train a film full of exciting action sequences and high-quality stunt work. Producing the film is fellow action director Antoine Fuqua, who originally developed the film. Leach also serves as producer, as does Kelly McCormick. Zach Okovich wrote the screenplay for Bullet Train, but don't worry if you don't recognize the name. His only other credit is Fear Street Part 2, 1978. Two official trailers were released for Bullet Train, giving us a good glimpse of the action that takes place on and off the locomotive. What's clear from both trailers is that Bullet Train is going to be a bright and colorful adventure with interesting fight sequences taking unique advantage of the space. Brad Pitt's Ladybug is clearly at the center of the film and looks to get involved with every single assassin at some point in the movie. The second trailer depicts more of Ladybug's handler, Maria Beetle, and appears to show the duo together after the insane events that take place on the high-speed train. Pitch Charm takes center stage, and he's supported by a stellar cast who all shine in their moments in the trailers. Based on both peaks at Bullet Train, we can guess the movie won't take itself too seriously and will be the perfect summer popcorn blockbuster to close out the season. I, I gotta get off this train. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.